far our bike's on today. I don't know. I, you know, last week I said, I don't know where they're at. And then as soon as it was over, it was like they were up on the mantle where they're, where we usually <laughs> put them. But then today. Yeah. I don't know where they're at. <laughs> I think they're, I don't know. I found the box. I haven't found the mics. They're probably in a jacket pocket somewhere. But you guys, we are making, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that you guys are here because this one is for the books. We are going to make a coffee cake for the non-baker. Okay. I'm not saying it's a no bake coffee cake because we're going to bake it. It's just a coffee cake for the person that doesn't like to, kind of like Desi, doesn't like to have to measure things out. This is a great um, recipe for those, uh, hey mom, I need something for the bake sale tomorrow, or um, we're gonna have brunch, I just want something, you know, something sweet to go along with the brunch. Good Quick morning. Easy. Jack, Jackie Grieve is in the house. Jean is in the house. Jackie Grieve says, hi de ho hi de ho <laughs> So, yes, we are going to make this coffee cake for the non-baker. So, <clears throat> we have Grand's biscuits. They don't have to be Grand's. Y'all, we went to... <laughs> Morning, Jovita. Jovita's in the house. We went to Walmart, and this was the only biscuit they had. They didn't have the cheapy little ones. The cheapy little ones work the best, right? So my mom used to take those little cheapy little ones, little bitty ones, and she would fry them. And then she'd put them in sugar. And right. they were donuts. Oh, bomb. Mm. Bomb. That was our do donuts. Mm. Good morning. Mm. Hi, Trish. Good morning. Buenos dias, mis amigos. Buenos dias. Vondeliers in the house. Good morning. Are you still freezing? Yes, we are. Um, we have another round coming. So, uh, I, I don't work at the school anymore, but I do go, well, I don't work, um, full time at the school anymore, but I do sub at the school and we sent home, uh, work with our kids a Friday for Monday in case we go virtual. So, um, yeah, so we're preparing, they're saying ice this time. Like <clears throat> there was ice last time, but it was mainly snow, dry, dry snow. They're saying this time, this round is going to be ice. So we're preparing. I don't think they're in there. Are they? Wow. <laughs> Rusty knew where they were. See, he was just holding back. No, I was yeah. trying to. <laughs> I saw him somewhere. All right, guys. <clears throat> if you're just popping in, good morning, Madonna. Welcome. Uh, yeah. Okay, hold on. Y'all let me know if y'all can still hear us, okay? Uh, lady beginning testing, testing. May have to there you go. Okay. All right. Hear me now. All right. Can you guys hear me? I would much rather have snow than the ice for sure. Yes, me too, Vonda. And that's, uh, I'm not prepared. Um, we got uh, tank heaters and stuff in for the uh, pigs. You guys that are uh, watching about that we ended up getting, we have 15 pigs out there. Um, and uh, we are, I know that everybody's like, oh, that shelter's not big enough, but they burrow in and they, they, that's just how they sleep. They're going to sleep on top of each other. Uh, are, you are you staying warm? Are you staying warm? It's a balmy negative two here. Yes. Chris says. But we could have a big old barn for them and they would still, hmm. so, but we are going to separate the little ones from the bigger ones. So they're going to have their own shelter and then the little ones have their own shelter. So we just have to wait for this weather to cooperate i want to get my greenhouse done too you guys and it's just not happening because the weather won't cooperate <clears throat> okay i've gone off on a tangent you guys if you've been following if you're you see here good 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 lady beginnings in the house y'all have to see rusty right now. <laughs> have to see me what uh, he's trying to take off his yep pigs in a poke you're right Ben's over acres uh we went to a secondhand store and I found this awesome bookshelf. It's huge, massive, it's great. I moved it in here. I don't have cabinets, but I have a bookshelf and it's amazing. Uh, hello from me, Tori, Daisy, and Mariah. Hi, girls. And then Trish said, what? Trish oh. says, so how many seeds did you end up with? We ended up with, well, 
<clears throat> there's 15 total, but we have one of them. They didn't count. We didn't count. He's herniated. And um, normally those won't make it. And uh, he's kind of. He's not doing so well this morning. So. Yeah. So, uh, so we have probably 14 bacon seeds um, out there. And we didn't go back and get more. We're going to. I don't know if we're doing that. I think or, we're going to hold off where we're at. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> because it's, you know, a lot. <laughs> yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Walter Job Jr. says, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay. If you've been here and you heard me repeat myself, I'm so sorry. But I'm going to say it again for the people that have just come in. Today we are making a coffee cake for the non-bakers. We are baking this coffee cake. But this is for the people that don't like to measure things out and bake stuff. It's baking's not their gig. Like Desi, this is not her to kiss not her gig, right? Also for those in a pinch moments, like I've got to have a cake in 20 minutes. You know, this is great. This is a good one. Good morning, Sandy. Zone Breaker says, ah, roast piglet. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are freezing, Jovita. Yes. <laughs> Jovita says it's 40 degrees here in Riviera. All right, so we are going to get this camera over here to my hands of what I'm doing. In the house. And oh, and Paragon Ridge Rich. If you guys have not subscribed to Chrissy and her family, go do that now because they are amazing. Okay, so I bought some Fuji apples. I went ahead and got some. I didn't get them in the bag. A lot of times if you buy in the bag, you end up with really teeny tiny little apples. I wanted some good size apples. My favorite apples are Fuji and um, Jonathan, but everybody has their own thing. I'm, I'm not real big on um, Red Delicious. I just feel like they're too grainy. The gay um, are pretty grainy. Yeah, I love Granny Smith, but but this isn't a, this, I wanted this to be sweeter, not tart. Not so tart. So I'm going to take off all these lovely little stickers. And I'm going to go ahead and rinse these. I'm going to um, be peeling them, but I want to rinse them anyway. Uh, Jovita says, yes, Trish, I'm cold. It's 75 in the house, though. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So <laughs> I'd be sweating at 75. Um, yes. <laughs> well, you're sweating now. and I don't. Well, it might be because you're kind of close to the heater. Um, <clears throat> I could use my fancy little gadget that, you know, um, peels and slices and cores all at the same time. But the reason I'm not going to is because I don't want that thin of slices for this recipe. So I want the little bit thicker slices. Kim says we're at seven, at seven degrees in Missouri. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know what the temperature is here today. Cold. It is very cold. <laughs> yes. So I use a knife to peel potatoes and things but with the apples i do like to use a peeler just because it's quicker and you don't get quite so much of the meat the like it's not really meat but y'all know what i mean yeah. you know we're at a sunny 11 degrees sunny 11 degrees it's balmy outside <laughs> getting that way <laughs> All right. See, the chickens are going to love these. Now we're going to have to take turns between the chickens and the pigs. So, yeah. Trish uh, says, I think our house is up to up to maybe 50 in the house. In the house. <laughs> so I thought about having this um, already peeled before you guys came in. But then I was like, no, because then I'm going to have to spray it with lemon water or lemon juice so that my apples don't turn brown and I just didn't want to do all that. You guys, we had a tragedy in the kitchen. <laughs> Our um, uh, microwave caught out. So I don't have a microwave right now, which is fine. It's really no big deal. It just requires, you know, extra planning, which I've already kind of tried to get into that mode of having things defrosting in the refrigerator, you know, always so that uh, I'm not caught off guard. So, uh, but I needed to melt some butter this morning and I was like, oh, no big deal. And then I was like, oh man, I'm going to have to do that on the stove. So I was like, I'm going to grab something to uh, melt that. And then I was like, no, that's just kind of <clears throat> dumb because um, I have a, 
I need the um, oven anyway. So. Sandy Wilkerson says it's eight degrees here in Western Kentucky. Heartland with Dink and Tank is in the house. Good morning, Rachel and Rusty. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Siski says, good morning, Rachel and Rusty. When's mama coming back? Um, so she's talking about the first part of March that she is coming home. Okay, guys, <laughs> I forgot about that butter in there. And so we're like it's hot, molted. So I'm going to let this cool <clears throat> while we're doing the rest of this. So <laughs> I don't have a microwave. So I just put a whole stick of butter <clears throat> in that pie pan and stuck it in the oven. I'm using pie pans for this, uh, for the mixtures and things, just because it's easier to, um, like when I make fried chicken and things, I use pie pans usually because it's easier to, what am I trying to dredge things yeah. with it? So, I'm sitting here thinking, I know yeah. the word you're looking for. To... I actually, yeah, <laughs> you know, I actually use plastic uh, bags a lot. Just put everything in a plastic bag and shake it together. And I may actually do that too. Jean today. says it's negative four in Southern Minnesota. Minis oh my gosh. That's, Minnesota. The, that's not even the real feel, right? And these apples smell amazing. I just want to. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Tamara says, I love your pie pans. Beautiful. Oh, thanks. So I have the whole set of these. These are, um, uh, mm -hmm. false craft. Yeah. False craft. I couldn't think of it. <laughs> As you picked it up. I <laughs> now this one's been through the meal, so you can kind of see the cracks and stuff, but I have like the, um, I have the plates and I have platters and, and all of those things that go with it. And, uh, you may have seen these, this exact print before, which I had this before this show came out, but they use this exact, exact print in the show, the ranch on Netflix. So I was like, ah, oh, they have my plates. <laughs> I just love, I love how thick these are and um you know i have i have manly men in my life so these plates have this like they're not flat plates like like they can it's got sideboards y'all don't like flat plates i want my food yes. to stay on the plate sideboards so they can pile it up you know you know the good stuff and they're hard, like they're like hardy <laughs> they're strong and um, you know, we have teenagers at home. That's Tamara always a good says, thing. Oh, nice. Yes, I love those. Lady Robin, whatever, is in the house. <laughs> okay. She says, well, good morning. Well, good morning. Kim Campbell says, love the ranch. Great show. Yes, I did too. And then, and then it was done. I don't even have you in the I'm shop. I'm stupid. You, yeah. Rusty. <laughs> Everybody equated him to Bo off the ranch uh our our kids and everybody were like oh my gosh you're on tv because um because you know he's he's pretty censored on our channel but y'all should hear the way he really talks yeah. okay so Siski says my mother had those same plates they lasted forever oh nice that is so awesome mrs job walter job jr says upturned edges loud out loud sideboards sideboards yes okay i'm gonna go ahead and get my my pans uh, ready. I think I only need one, but I grabbed two just in case. What did I do with? Oh, uh, so I'm just going to spray one. That way I don't have to wash the other one. If I, get it. Uh, I just have some cooking spray and I'm just going to spray it. Yes, ma'am. Caution orange today. Yeah. Use caution. <laughs> Use, caution. Use caution. I'm going to set that over here on the stove and then get it out of the way. Um, These so, sweatshirts were, what, were called what? Dollar Walmart finds that day? I think so. They were on clearance. Okay. So I like this knife too. It's a, it's a paring knife, but it has this curve here, uh, for apples. This one came from, um, what is that one where they do, uh, like fundraisers, their knives. Rada. Rada. This is a Rada knife. So I love Rada. Rada. I love Rada knives. That's okay. I'm just stuttering a little bit. So, um, Trish, they usually use them for fundraisers, like they sell those yeah. for fun. Trish says, our, our feel like is at negative 12. Oh These old goodness. bones can't handle it. Texas is calling my name, calling me home. My son is working on getting a transfer around March or so. Praying it happens sooner than later. Oh, man, that'd be so nice. And Kim says, 
No way. Rusty is sweet. Ah. On here, maybe. <laughs> But, he's sweet uh, until he's talking to our boys, and then it's just a whole nother ball game. Okay, so cord. Uh, I'm not going to leave them this this size, but I'm just kind of showing you guys where I'm just cutting these. Whoop. On, the, on the ranch, our, my favorite line on there that uh, Sam Elliott has is, "Dip is on your feet." <laughs> if you watch the show, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> And I say that to my boys all the time. Yeah, they well, <laughs> both both my boy. Well, one of my boys like he wears uh, hey dudes all the time, and Rusty's so anti hey dudes, and so he's like, I don't wear like, hey dudes. He's <laughs> like, what is on your feet? And then uh, my other son, I swear, lives in slides, like socks and slides. Mm -hmm. Every time you see him, he, that's where he's wearing. It doesn't matter if it's middle of winter, he's wearing. Socks and slides. He wears his girlfriend's shoes all the time. Go <laughs> tell him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. But you know, that's what dads are supposed to do, right? That was such a good show. And and I hated when they brought Dak Shepard into it because I like Dak Shepard as an actor. And I just felt like that was just kind of dirty pool. I mean, I know what they were doing. They were trying to They're trying to preserve supplement. the show. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, but, oh yeah, anyway, uh, Dak Shepard and, um, mm -hmm. can't think of her name, but they have another show out that Russ and I kind of started watching. It's kind of dumb, but it's, uh, um, it's corny. What is that where they, I don't remember. We Bless are, this mess or yeah, something like that. I don't, know. I don't remember. All right. Okay. So now we have all of these. Cord, peeled cord, and now we're going to slice them. So <clears throat> I've quartered these, right? So cutting the apple in half and then in half. So I'm just going to half this. One more half. <laughs> Miss right? Job says, hey, Gary from SLR almost built his whole house in Crocs and socks. <laughs> I know, right? Crocs. Em and Nanny's in the house. In the house. She says, good morning. Sorry I'm late. What are we making good this morning? So we are making a coffee cake for the non-baker. We are baking them, but this is not a recipe that you are going to have to um, put any real effort into, right? So I have three good size Fuji apples. You can use Jonathan. You can use whatever kind of apple you like. I didn't want uh, Granny Smith. I didn't want the green apples. I wanted a good crisp red apple um, we have 48 people in here uh 28 likes nice you guys are awesome all right so i've got those all so i how many slices would that be if i quartered it and then i have to each one of those that'd 24. be eight and one apple would be eight yeah. so you're cutting your apples in eights <laughs> okay <laughs> You don't have to know that to do this. I'm just, you know, saying. Just I'm just saying. Just saying. Okay. So I now. Ain't saying nothing. You know what I'm saying? Now that I've got those ready, I'm going to get my biscuits ready. Now, I had Rusty open these before the show because y'all know that I don't do. But, <laughs> but she made supper the other night and opened her own biscuit pans. Well, I was making. I was outside. I was making croissants and I was like so the the cans is the whole reason why I learned how to make homemade biscuits but you know I was making so let's see Christy Betts is in the house that should be eight eight so if I cut these in half I'm gonna have 16 so I'm gonna have to quarter them yeah Christy Betts is in the house says, good morning just came in from swapping propane tanks for heat Whew, it's yes. gold. So, guys, I am quartering. Got apple bits everywhere. I am quartering these biscuits. And again, you don't have to use Grand's biscuits. If you buy the cheapy little, um, what are they called? Uh, great value. Great value. You can actually use a whole biscuit instead of quarters. All right. 
Grands was all they had at Walmart the other day. Like that was it. There was nothing else. Annette Rodriguez is in the house. Hi, Annette. She said, good morning, y'all. Nice, chill. Nice and chill here in San Antonio. Oh. 31 degrees. In Holy San Hannah. That is just crazy. So are you guys supposed to warm up, like warm right back up? Or do y'all have another system? Like we were supposed to warm right back up. And then now they're saying we have another system. We got another system coming in on Monday. But it's only supposed to be here to like Tuesday. Monday, Monday. Christy Betts says, laugh out loud, opening a can of biscuits are like the old Jack in the Box. I was scared of those <laughs> things. Absolutely. <laughs> Me too. I knew you would relate to that. It's all around the mulberry bush. <laughs> yeah, wait, 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 wait. I know you're going to do it, so do it. No, I was doing the music. No, do it. Uh -uh. Go ahead. <laughs> All around the mulberry bush, the monkey chased the weasel. The monkey thought was all in fun. Papa's con chorizo. <laughs> I stop thinking about how it went. <laughs> you were going to steal my line, and then you didn't even know what the line no, I was, was. I wasn't going to steal your line. I was doing the music. I, I was thinking, is that the right yeah, that the tune? <laughs> I couldn't think of the words to it. I, mean, I had that, to turn that's, the crank. That's our version. Of um, Pop Goes the Weasel. It's Papas con Chorizo. <laughs> you know what? I'm burying my apples, and that is not a good thing because I'm going to need to be able to access plate. my apples. Plato. Another plato. Plato with sideboards? Yeah. I See. like these. All right. We're going to move all of these over here. All around the mulberry bush that's going to be stuck in my head. Is anybody talking over there? Papa Chorizo. Obita says, it's cold here in South Texas. That's crazy. I don't know if anybody is, uh, I mean, if it's supposed to warm back up or not. But, okay. All right. Yay. 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 Yeah, see, some, uh. Monday's 41, then we got 48, 45, 48. We're in the mid to upper 40s all next week. Nice. Okay, guys. I see a greenhouse build coming next week. I hope so. All right. Well, I can leave the butter right there. That butter all separated and everything else, it'll be fine. It's good. And that says lots of rain coming Sunday night through Wednesday. Higher temps above freezing. That's good. We Y'all need to stay above freezing. All right. I got... A good two tablespoons of brown sugar. Christy said it's crazy. South Texas is not supposed to be cold. I'm also going to do about two tablespoons of ground cinnamon. And then I'm going to put regular sugar. Probably about a quarter of a cup, half a cup, something. All right. <clears throat> Just put it in there till it looks good. Okay. Hope we just in South Texas. It's going to rain all week. I'm going to mow today. You're going to mow in the cold, Ovita? So I'm going to go mow today, I guess. <laughs> I'm glad mowing's done for us for right now. <laughs> Look, my, uh, my homemade um, brown sugar does not clump, but my sugar sugar does. <laughs> I'm just right now finding all the little pieces that are big and clumpy. Big and clumpy. Christy says, still under snow here in West Tennessee. We had eight inches. Oh, my god. That's goodness. a lot of snow. Yeah, we did not have that much, thank goodness. Mm. Oh, hey, guys, the uh, oven is... Um, Preheating at 375, and I just went off of whatever the biscuit can said. All right, so this is brown sugar, cinnamon, and regular sugar. Okay, I know it seems like a lot, but, but hold on. Hold up, wait a minute. I'm just using my fork to kind of make sure that I get it all mixed in together. Trish says, I don't know about anyone else, but I'm ready for summer. <laughs> right? Forgotten black sheep is in the hose. 
Well, I'm, I'm really glad that <clears throat> we did get this hard freeze. This is the first real hard freeze we've had for three years at least. And, um, you know, we kind of needed this. We needed something to, you know, break it up. Maybe two years, but still, like, kill off things. <laughs> I mean, I'm ready for it to not be this cold. But. Yes. Forgotten Black Sheep says, we will have a high of 19 here in Missouri. Christy says, they and they do not clear the road, the country roads here. Oh, Upside is, it's been really quiet. <laughs> right? I bet. And that's what I was going to say, too. You know, I'm not... <coughs> I don't feel as put out this time. I mean, we've got the animals and, you know, to take care of and things like that, but I'm not working outside of the house uh, unless I have, you know, time to, like I, I'll go sub or whatever if, if they need me, but um, I'm not working outside of the house. So it hasn't been as much of a <laughs> inconvenience, I guess, for me this year. Taking care of the animals, yes, I have to right now having to bucket water because our hydrant froze and, you know, things like that. But I don't know. To me, it's not, I don't know. It's not hard, I guess. I guess it's because that's for me, right? Okay. So I did this, but wait, there's more. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. Linda Gar Garuti is in the house. Says, yes, I'm ready for spring. Emma says, we are still under about two feet of snow here in Iowa. Jean says, upper 30s here next week. Saw someone in shorts yesterday. Only in Minnesota. <laughs> oh, no, that's not only in Minnesota. They do that crazy stuff here uh -huh. okay so Tamara says i learned how to make brown sugar from you rachel oh great that's awesome yes i love making my own brown sugar it tends to keep better and uh, you can kind of control the flavor a little better <clears throat> all right so this is chopped pecans i'm finally finishing up my pecans from christmas okay elaine so this Buchka says i'm in the house hi elaine <laughs> So I'm just going to mix up that stuff with my, with my, uh, pecans. You know what would be really good? Mm. A lot more pecans. Put them in that and just bake it. Like candied pecans? Yeah. Yeah. I make some pralines. Super diabetic. Kind of. I didn't make any pralines this year, did I? Mm. I'm so sorry. No, it's because of my blood sugar. Well, but I made all the other candies. Yes, and it was I, awesome. I didn't make pralines. <laughs> Christy says, I picked a tick off one of my dogs a couple weeks ago in January. Oh, wow. Uh, Patty Price is in the house. It's what you're making today. So I am making a, I guess I don't need that. Big. It's a coffee cake for the non-baker. Okay. So we are baking this, but it's for the person that does not either doesn't like to bake or is in a pinch. They need something quick, they need something simple. So here it is, I should pull my hair back. Okay, um, I have biscuits. These are just Grand's biscuits, but you don't. they don't have to be Grand's. Wait, I have a hair tie. So they don't have to be Grand's, but they have to be- um, Canned. Yeah, they have canned, just canned biscuits. You can buy the cheap ones, um, and that's actually what I was looking for because that's really what I use normally. But um, but they uh, didn't have any at Walmart. Like they were out of everything. Yeah, they, they had pizza dough, crescent rolls, and Grand's biscuits. And they had like four cans of the. Grand cinnamon rolls, and that was it. And they were Grands. Yeah, and those were Grands too. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, Karen Lackey says, "I'm just getting here. What's for breakfast, Grandpa? <laughs> Some really good stuff." <laughs> okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take these, and we're gonna do these one at a time. Let me show you. I've got this butter here. This butter. butter. I can put that in an actual bowl. I had that in that. Uh. uh Karen Lackey says, non-baker, I'm down. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing about having open shelving is you have to rinse everything because, you know, dust and everything. Uh, Hobita says, Rusty, did you guys pick up the rest of the little pigs? We did not pick up any more little pigs yet. Uh, I've got to take the trailer back today. I'm not real sure we're going to get more. Uh, I think we're going to just hold off where we're at. We had talked about getting more, but... 
I don't know. Oh, why did I do that? We are quite my, content where we're at, I think. My butter separated, but it's okay. Tamara says, you've got company. No. Oh, it was the mailman. It was mail the mailman. Yeah. <laughs> Christy says, I was told the Walmart here is was cleaned out. I haven't left the homestead since the last Saturday. Oh, wow. So I didn't leave until Wednesday. I was at the homestead from Saturday to Wednesday. I was so stinking excited. I'm like, this is so nice. But um, Wednesday, you know, got out to go get the pigs. But. Forgotten Black Sheep is just south of St. Louis. I'm talking to Kim Campbell, and she is in St. Charles, oh. Missouri. Uh, Miss Job says, what happened to your microwave? Only heard you didn't have it. I, my microwave went kaput. It stopped working, but That's I've had good. that microwave forever. So, Sheila, okay, look at that. we are making non, how'd you say that? The, uh, the coffee, coffee cake, cake for non-bakers. For the non-bakers. That's right. So you're going to put this all the way around. It's kind of like monkey bread. Rusty said, well, this is kind of like what my mom used to make, and it was called monkey bread. Kind of, but I'm not, you guys will see here in a second. I'm not making it pull apart bread because I have the apples that's actually going to separate the bread. And normally, if you have the cheap little, um, the cheap little biscuits, they're round. So they will sit, and then you go that and a and a apple, and then that and an apple. So Patty says, "Rusty, did you find out what was wrong with the little pig?" I have not found out yet what was wrong with it. I've talked to a few people, and they're saying, "And Rachel, like Rachel and I said, probably a hernia." Uh, we're just going to have to kind of watch him and see what happens with him. Yeah, <clears throat> Rusty used to work in the pig barns. And so he said, usually those little guys, they won't grow. Yeah, they just don't grow. So we got to see see what transpires with him. Yeah. Uh, Christy Betts says, yeah, I was thinking about monkey bread. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of the same <clears throat> thing. But, but wait, there's more. Sheila says, I like monkey bread. Can't eat a lot of sweets. I'm diabetic. Yes, yeah. we understand. Yes, totally. Rusty's there too. Okay, actually, now that I'm looking how tiny these are having to be, I may cut these. You think? Sure. Well, that and way, yeah, that way you can get a slice between each one. Yeah, because otherwise, what do I do with my little knife? Because otherwise, I'm going to have to. Um, uh, do um. Uh, well, I'm trying to think. So they've got to bake, and they're only going to bake for about, what is it, 10 minutes, 12 minutes? Yeah, 10 or 12 minutes. So I may have to just cut those in half. Okay, so let's do this. I know that one didn't really half, but. Chris Keene says, love monkey bread. I'm on my way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Hobita says, I went to H-E-B yesterday, and they have had no cat food. When they had no cat food. Thank goodness I always have a backup. Oh, goodness. Yeah, it, it, there has been a lot of talk and things about... Ooh, that one's huge. Look at that. That's a big apple. That's a big one. But we're going to fill it in. We're going to fill it in. It's going to be okay. About shortages and things like that. So, um, yeah, just got to... Stock up when you can and can when you can't. Yes. Can when you can stock up and that way you're stocked up no matter what happens. Yeah, and if you don't have a garden and things like that, it's okay too. Like, watch your sale ads. I just saw that at our local uh, grocery store, they have um, blueberries on sale right now. So I plan to go pick up you know, spend a little extra on blueberries and bring them home and can up some great things. Um, mm. Maybe dehydrate some for future um, muffins and things like that. So, uh, yeah, just watch your watch your grocery store ads. And when they go on sale, 
go pick them up. And also, a lot of your local grocery stores, I don't know if Walmart does this, but I know your local grocery stores, they will come in and they will, if you're, um, if you're, like when their produce starts to kind of go out of date, they'll put that stuff on sale. Yeah. And if you can grab that, if you have time, that's the whole thing. I've been in that trap before where I don't really have the time, but it's a great deal. And I bring it home and it ends up being, you know, the animal food, which is fine too. It's not going to waste, but, uh, you know, if you have the time, like weekend coming up, I've got a little bit of extra time. I'm going to buy up these strawberries that are a little bit looking a little weepy and sad, bring them home, sort through them, cut them up, make some pie, you know, pie filling or something and can that, you know, so. Go beat this, just keep the little pig and name him Wilbur. Wilbur, no, because one day we'll go out there and he'll be like, I can talk. <laughs> the other one can moo. Yeah, we don't need any more talkers. I can actually factually talk. Oh, Lewis is in the house. Says, hi, Rachel and Rusty. Love you guys. Hi. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Okay, look, guys. So I am just stuffing this in between, right? We're just making it pretty. I mean, ish, right? Okay. Oh, I thought I was done. Need about three more. Three more. Three more, three more. Yeah, I am definitely going to need that other cake pan, aren't I? Yes. Mrs. Job says, when blueberries go on sale here, we pick up a few extra packs and freeze them. Yeah. Freeze them. Uh, whatever you do to preserve. Freeze them. Dehydrate them. Um, make some jelly or, I mean, jam. Make some compote. Um, yeah, do that. Y'all hear Mayday? He's crying. He wants out. He's a bad boy. He is. Yesterday he took off and I didn't think he was going to come home. I really thought we had lost him. Simple growers in the hose. That looks delicious. Woo! Oh, why did I do that? Because I'm going to do something. Okay. So this center one, I am going to kind of. Yes, queen. <laughs> All right. There is your coffee cake for the non baker. For the non baker. Now we are going to bake it. <laughs> Just a little bit of a uh, oxymoron going on there. Uh, it's it's non bake. Yeah. <laughs> so this is going to go in an oven for. Um, actually, I'm going to sprinkle some of this on top because I want more pecans. Okay. Uh, this is going to go in an oven, 375 degrees for about 12 minutes, I think is what, what are those? Uh, 11 to 15 minutes. Okay. So honestly, the only thing you're baking, I mean, you're baking your apples too. And I, and I understand that your apples aren't going to get gooey and soft, soft like they do with, uh, like in, um, like a pie but i mean i understand that they're not going to do that sorry guys i keep moving y'all but it's okay because it's going to um but <laughs> nice snack <laughs> are you stealing it no, i stole an apple <laughs> hey that's good those apples are so good mm -hmm. the jonathan's and the, the oh these are fujis i just i don't know i just like their texture and their flavor karen says omg the mooing pig is hilarious oh my gosh rusty said that cow that pig is mooing and i was like oh my and he a she it's a she, I think a so, she? I think it's a and deal. she moves she's like it's so funny she, it's just funny she's bilingual <laughs> no oh, we, i missed being here let me tell you i had a whole lot rather been here than at work what she says we missed you last week rusty oh man i'm telling you i was like uh i can't do cooking i have bubby and uh he was a great co-host though but i had bubby and rusty was working and i was like i almost almost canceled and then i was like you know what i, I still want to be able to talk to my people and you know that kind of stuff i was like man talking with the peeps that's right i'm gonna go ahead and whip up this other one we have quick. 77 people in here and i'm showing 45 thumbs up 
Okay, so on that apple cake, that apple coffee cake, you can um, at this point make some uh, cream cheese frosting to drizzle on top of that when it's done, or yeah, <laughs> or make a glaze, uh, kind of make the caramel with the rest of this stuff, you know, to uh, cook that up in butter and make a caramel to drizzle on top like you do with monkey bread. Um, you know, the options are endless. Yes. Right? Whatever you like. Trish says, we are glad you didn't cancel, Rachel. Oh, well, thanks. I'm glad I didn't either. I didn't set a timer, y'all. Oops. <clears throat> okay. Tamara says, I'm glad you showed up. <laughs> I know. Me too. <coughs> yes. Rusty was like, I have to work. I'm like, I have a life. He's making my, it home is in the house. He's my hero. Mm -hmm. Hello, Robertson. Hello. You are all are all well. Yes. Hello, hello. Um, you can also make this in a bunt cake. You know, for that pretty, um, you know, top or whatever, kind of like you would do monkey bread. Um, that would be pretty too. Vonda says, thanks for mentioning the thumbs up. I always forget that. <laughs> <laughs> That's that okay. thumbs, up, thumbs up or thumbs down, you guys, that just helps the algorithm, uh, helps YouTube know that, hey, what we're doing here, you guys are liking, and that helps us, helps them, know to, <laughs> yeah, helps them know to push it out more. <laughs> liking or not liking, you know, if you thumbs down. Huh? That's true. But, I mean, it's not like YouTube differentiates. So that. they don't differentiate. Uh, like or dislike, they just know that somebody's watched it and they've clicked on it. Uh, Mrs. Job says, your dish dryer is quite interesting. Oh, okay. So, I <laughs> I bought that when I lived when we lived at the last house. And I did a product review. I think it's on this channel, isn't it? Yes. So, uh, yeah, I think so. I think, so. I think there's a product review on this channel of that. And at first, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like this. And when we moved out here, I'm like, oh, I'm really missing my dish drainer. But it's really cool because it has the it has the racks up here, and then it has like a knife rack to slide your knives in and not have to worry about you know them poking you. It's got the um, silverware. It's it, it's behind this. You can put and you can put things wherever you want. But behind this cup holder, I had the cup holder up here before. There's a little spot there where you can put like your um, sponges and things like that, your dish rag, whatever. And then over here on the side, there's this little rack here that whenever you're, uh, when you want to put your like cookie sheets or um, cutting, boards. cutting boards, you kind of have a spot here. This over here, this is just another um dish rack that I had that I'm not using as a dish rack. I'm using that to keep my uh, cutting boards and stuff organized over here. I'm getting organized here in this kitchen with or without cabinets. It's happening. I'm like so done running to the barn every time. I'm like, I know I have this gadget. I need to go find it. Or I know I have this pan. Or I, And every time I'm talking to you guys, I'm like, well, I have that. It's just in storage. And so I have been on a quest for the last week to get everything out of that storage for my kitchen with or without cabinets. I'm just, I need to be able to access my stuff. It's like my happiness depends on it. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, we went thrifting and we found that um, bookcase and it's awesome. And I started to refurb it. And then I was like, you know what? I, I'm not going to do all of that because that's temporary. And then um, <clears throat> I don't, I didn't share this on, YouTube because it wasn't a long enough video and it was too long for a short. But on our Facebook page, I did a video on refurbing that um, spice cabinet. That is actually a medicine cabinet that we had bought at a yard sale, took it apart. It was one of those really pretty, has the stained glass on one side and the mirror yes. on the other side. Yeah. And, but it was very dated. And so I took it out and sanded it. I mean, as well as you can sand those particle yeah. ones because it just has like paper uh, covering. And so spray painted it, put a new back on the back of it, made that my spice rack. 
And then I took the mirror and I filled in the hole for where the knob is with wood putty and sanded it and got it all painted. It's our actually our mirror in the bathroom. And then the other little stained glass thing, I went ahead and painted it as well the, around the deal. And it's just an art piece in our bathroom. Mm -hmm. So it was really kind of cool doing that. Alice Olivares Chalk says, good morning, Rachel and Rusty and everyone. Your kitchen is looking good. Thank you. Uh, Karen says, Miss Desi, she needs to stop with the teenage stuff. <laughs> I know. She's, she's really busy. She's actually in... Um, National Honor Society and things like that. So she's got a lot going on for her right now, which we are so super glad. But she's always out kind of doing her own thing. And um, she she misses being here too. So uh, she, she will be back, I'm yes. sure. Christy says, I like the kitchen. Good ideas. Thank you so Hobita much. says, we like it, like it. Like it. You like it, like it. <laughs> Trish says, yep, Karen, we miss seeing Desi and Mama. I know. It's been so quiet here. It's like Russ and I are empty nesters again, all over again. Back to good is in the house. This is, hey, good morning, Rachel. And good morning. Christy says, I love repurposing things. Yes, me too. Karen says, yes, Trish. You, yes, ma'am. You can't leave mama out. That's right. I, I, I miss my mama so bad. And I was talking to my mom the other day and I said, did you watch the live? She said, I haven't watched it yet. And I said, everybody's like, we miss mom. And she said, uh, when's she coming home, you know? And my sister's in the background going, she's not. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you'll have a whole bunch of people very, very disappointed. <laughs> Trish says, I love to repurpose and reuse. Drives my daughter-in-law crazy, though. <sighs> like Christy says, it has so much more personality. Yes. yes I agree. Obita says, we have mama down here in South Texas where it's 40 degrees. <laughs> <All right. laughs> She's like, what the heck, right? <clears throat> Back to Goods has agreed. I love finding new purposes for old things. Yes. Treasure Hunter Neil is in the house. So those repurposed things, hi Neil, are like videos, those type of videos. I'm posting those on Facebook and Instagram. So uh, if you have Facebook and Instagram and you want to follow us, it's just Robertson's Belly Acres. And we kind of, <laughs> we post all of our links there, but we also, sometimes I'll do shorter videos and put them on, on those channels, on those platforms and TikTok and things like that. So, no, I mean, picky talking. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Just those kinds of things. I am out of butter. No butter. Oh, I have butter right there. <laughs> but I think these are sticky enough that <laughs> it'll stick without butter. Here in a second. We'll check on that because um, the uh, biscuit dough, I'm sure, is she rising. Is, I like reusing, reusing things. Kids hate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we tend to grab things. What is the other thing that I did? Oh, I did clean that. and I don't know. We just... You repurposed or refinished our uh, fireplace doors. Yeah, yeah. Which, oh man, our fireplace is not working, which was really unfortunate for this whole cold snap. But hopefully, I don't know, we're debating, guys. We're trying to decide if we're going to keep that fireplace and get it fixed so that we can use it. Or if we're just going to get rid of it altogether. Because it takes yes. up a whole lot of that already small living room. Mm -hmm. Uh, Karen says, I'm happy for Desi. Just let her know we miss her face. You miss her face. Christy says, oh, I don't do those platforms. Yeah. Put some on YouTube. I need to. They're, <laughs> they're just just shy of being long enough to be on YouTube. Um, and that's a marketing thing. Yeah. Like uh, YouTube videos have to be eight minutes or less. I mean, or more. So that they can actually put ads in them and you can actually get paid for those videos. But, um, but I mean, it really doesn't matter. We're not getting paid for them on the other platforms. So I might right. as well just stick them on. Um, Tamara says YouTube. repurpose, reuse, recycle. Yes. And we're all about that, obviously. Yes. <laughs> you well, guys have seen us reuse so much. <laughs> well, we just, Desi needs to do Desi. You're only young once. That's Absolutely. Right. That is right. And we're. We're glad that she's able to do what she needs to do. And Back to good says, I do Instagram, but not a fan of Facebook. And my laptop won't edit and 
upload videos, so been doing shorts on YouTube and trying to edit a video on my phone. Oh, That's yeah. not so fun. Laugh out loud. So uh, we do all of our shooting and editing on on our phones. Um, we did have uh, our laptop went down, and we've always kind of done it on our phones anyway. But I'm I started using an app called CapCut. And you can use that on Android or iPhone. And it's, it's kind of labeled the TikTok app. If, if you follow TikTok at all or whatever, you know where they do all of the little things. And there's all these templates and stuff. But if you look past those templates and you just go to edit a video, it is probably the easiest editing app on for a phone and you can speed things up you can back things up you can put little stickers on there that are moving or um kind of like the videos that i put on tiktok and stuff like that i'll put like our logo and then i'll also put like uh subscribe subscribe and then our youtube thing and you can do all of that on CapCut. so that's pretty cool you'll have to check it out because Back to good oh, says my no phone won't even let me download TikTok. Oh, Neil no. says Beth made your French toast casserole. She did. <laughs> How did you guys like it? What happened? <clears throat> Tell me all about it. It was it. Did it work out? Did it not work out? I mean, I, I want to know. Carolyn Lamb is in the house. She says good morning. I'm late joining you. Oh, that's okay. I'm so glad you're here. Hovita says Trish. I always secretly wish I could run, would run into her in Kingsville, but nah. I miss her in, on this channel. Oh. About Mama. <laughs> uh, we'll have to see sometime if she's around or whatever. And Christy says, I only have a phone and I'm old and technically challenged. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I understand. Back to Goods' cap cut won't download on my phone. So trying the new YouTube Create app. It's a beta, so has issues, but kind of working. Oh, nice. So how about you cut? Uh, there's U-Cut that we used to use on uh, like Rusty's Android. And and it's it's pretty basic unless you pay for the unless you pay for the membership. But it it's yeah, and, easy. And if you have iPhone, you can always use iMovie. Rachel used to use iMovie a lot. Yes. So iMovie, it's kind of glitchy too, if you just kind of use the you know, the, the basic, we just use the basic on everything, guys. We're not, I mean, we bought a, um, ooh, do y'all hear that? Karen says, I love how you guys repurpose. Thank you. Trent Neal says, it was fantastic, all in Yay! caps, with three gold so trophies. excited. <laughs> this one I did a little different. Tobita says, the only platform I have is YouTube because my friend introduced me to it a few years ago. He downloaded it on my phone, laugh out loud. Well, that's okay. Yeah, maybe I'll have to put those on there. I have to find the right time to put things on there, too, because some of your shorter videos will kind of mess with your algorithm a little bit sometimes because they're not they're not exactly everybody's cup of tea. Right. And so people just don't. Watch. Back to good says, I did try you cut on one of my shorts. Christy says, y'all making me hungry again. If I live close, y'all could adopt me. Who cares if I'm almost 67? Who cares? Who cares? 67 is only a number. That's, That's all right. we know. Okay, so look at this. <clears throat> I just want to show you guys. It's not done yet. Tamara says, Karen, I love their store and warehouse. <laughs> but look how those biscuits rose. Mm -hmm. Look at that, how pretty that is. It's not quite done. I'm actually, it smells amazing. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in there, but I think this is going to need some sort of drizzle. Carmen Torres is in the hose. She says, I am new. Love you and Rusty. Thank you. I got a lot out of the salad video. Thank you, Frugal. And I love it. Yay! That's exciting. Uh, back to good so says Team Droid, no iPhone. Laugh out loud. I okay. just made this the switch. I drank the Kool Aid. Well, and, and it makes it easier for us because now, where we shoot on both phones, we're not like okay, well, we gotta send these clips through Messenger to Rachel so that. She can get them. Hopefully, they come over. Well, then they're not in order. She has to spend time getting them. The one, one of the main things that we really like about the iPhone is we can record on either one, and we can airdrop videos to the other person. It's quality, and it's it's just instant. I mean, it takes seconds to send 
a three or four minute clip. Yeah. So that is, is really nice. And I did <clears throat> iPhone be out of, well, I say out of necessity, not really. So I was Android until four years ago. Yeah, about that. Uh, our son moved out. Our oldest son moved out, got his own uh, cell phone. Like he wasn't staying on our bill. Like our, our kids have always been pretty independent. Like uh, we've always told them, if you don't want somebody in your business, make your own way. So uh, he and our oldest daughter too, like they're like, our, well, all three of the older three kids, they're like, okay, well, <laughs> I'm going to get my own cell phone. I'm going to get my own because I don't want you guys to be like, uh, if I call you, you answer. If I'm paying for that phone, I'm paying for that bill. If I call you, I expect you to answer. If I text you, you I expect you, you to answer. And so they were all like, okay, we're going to get our own. And, and that wasn't just to be mean. It was to kind of teach them that if you don't want somebody in your business, make your own way. Mm -hmm. Make it to where it is not their business. And so, um, so he <laughs> moved out. Got a new phone, got a new, got his own service, which was awesome. You know, when they leave the nest, you want them to be prepared. And, and you know, we were excited about it, but we were still paying on a brand new, well, not brand new, but we were still paying. It on was a pretty new. It was only a couple months old. Cell phone, because we had gotten him a new iPhone and my iPhone was broken. I mean, my Android was broken, so and mine was paid off. So Rusty's like, "We're paying on this. You might as well use it." And I was like, "Okay, well." And <clears throat> if you if you're used to an Android, an iPhone is completely opposite. Yes. So it was so frustrating getting to know an iPhone. But once I did, I don't want to go back to Android because it's the same thing. If you're used to an iPhone. Learning the Android is completely opposite. And I don't want to go through the frustration again. So I'm like, I'm just sticking with iPhones. So <laughs> I've just gotten a new iPhone every time. Hey, babe. Yes? Troy from Bar Run Forge is in the Oh, wow. hi, Troy. Welcome. He says, oh, one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, um, oh, I guess I can. Karen says, absolutely home. love the store. The cabinets will be amazing. Yes, I cannot wait. They are going to be awesome. But I think, guys, we're going to slow, like, uh, we've already started uh, gathering things for Mama's house because we want to get it knocked out when she gets back. Yes. So um, we started with buying the flooring. We've been talking to her, uh, like, well, not really FaceTime because she, like, I take pictures and I text them to her and then I call her on the phone and we talk about the different things. And so um, she's wanting really simple things for her. Uh, well, I say that she's got some flair, you guys, on some of her things that she's choosing. And I'm super excited because yes. she she has her own style and she likes her style. And it's and I'm just excited. Yes. It's going to be cool. Carolyn Lance says, hey, Rusty was wondering, thought you were just working temporary. Like until they found someone else, did things change? I know Rachel would love you home more. I would love to be home more as well. Things have kind of changed because I went in to be the interim manager and they've kind of moved past that, if you will. Sucker. <laughs> so I am there and it is going to be temporary. We don't know how long temporary will be. We were thinking, you know, a month or two, but it's going to be probably till spring and We'll have somebody else in there to take care of things so i can be home more and working on the homestead and focusing on our farm and our channels yes because um <clears throat> things slow down like i mean i can do a lot of things but there's a lot of stuff that i don't have the knowledge of it and i'm not i was gonna say i'm not gonna go out there and struggle and try to make it happen i do that a lot <laughs> like Okay, he's not here. I'm just going to figure it out. But at the same time, it would just be so much easier if he was here. <laughs> yeah, uh, Troy says 90% of our stuff is on iPhone. Yeah. So, yeah, just um, finding the different apps. Um, U-Cut works okay. Um, CapCut is what I'm using now, which, I mean, if it doesn't download, I get that. Um, what's the other one? Um, you cut, cap, cut. Uh, if you have an iPhone, iMovie. iMovie, I've, yeah. I've 
edited a lot. For years, I edited on iMovie. Christy says, my Android was hacked. Police suggested I get an iPhone. My daughter got me one. Oh, I'm glad she got you. Um, yes. iPhones are, they have the anti-hack, I don't know how much, yeah. you know, but um, they do. So, Tamara says, yes, the cabinets will look amazing. I can't wait. Hobita says, I love Android. Yes. Troy says, hey, did you guys get anything forged from me when I was in Arkansas? I think you got something ordered some time ago. I just can't remember. You need more BRF stuff. <laughs> yes, so, we do. We have the, um, the yes, Rusty <laughs> We have that by the fireplace that does not work. The fireplace does not work. But we have it there and it's beautiful. It's the poker beautiful doesn't thing. work either. The poker doesn't work. Because <laughs> you know, that means I got to get up and poke it. You guys, look at this. Sorry I yelled in there. But you guys, look at this. This thing is amazing. Tink. <laughs> but I mean... <laughs> we we called called Troy up to him. We wanted a fireplace poker, and you guys, he did not disappoint. Look at the the scroll work on that. He's got that twisted. And then while you were in Arkansas, Troy, I think we did get um, a paper towel yep. holder. And so, as I said earlier, I am in the process of getting everything out of our barn because I'm tired of saying. I have that, but it's in storage. So <clears throat> I'm, you know, getting things out. And last week I thought, man, I'm going to have like snow, snow days. I'm going to have time to work on this stuff. Uh, I'm going to, so I started tearing up my kitchen and doing some things in here. And then, uh, you know, I had Monday and Tuesday. Well, I started to, Monday I couldn't get out. I wasn't going to the barn Monday. Tuesday, on the way to the barn, forgot about the mud puddle that sits mm. out there. That never dries up. That never dries up. It's just this puddle. And it had snowed so much that you couldn't see it. And I'm just tootling across with this wheelbarrow because I'm going to go and get all of my canning jars out. And whoop! I mean, it was so fast. Mm -hmm. Like I was standing up and then I wasn't. <laughs> I fell flat on my back. Whack! I was sore for a couple of days. Yes. And so then uh, Wednesday we went and got pigs. And then Thursday, what did we do Thursday? Thursday we got pigs. I mean, Wednesday we got pigs. Thursday I had, um, oh, I went with Cody. Uh, and then we had doctor's appointment Thursday afternoon. Okay. And then doctor's appointment Thursday. And then uh, Friday, I subbed. They called me Thursday to ask if I could sub on Friday. So Friday, I subbed. So next week, well, I'm supposed to have the girls on Monday. I'm supposed to have my granddaughters on Monday. And then maybe after that, I can get like refocus again. I would show you guys kind of what I'm working on as far as the egg collection thing, because I'm not good about like these. I'm not complaining. Our girls are awesome. These are all eggs that I have to <laughs> float and see what I'm going to do with. I'm probably going to, um, I'm probably going to end up making a whole bunch of uh, breakfast things to put in the freezer. So that'll definitely be a video on this channel, trying to preserve all these eggs before they go bad. Yes. But I'm trying to get better about rotating the eggs. So I have this whole system set up, but I'm not going to show you all that side of the kitchen yet because uh, <laughs> it's... Yeah. Nancy Hodge, says, it's still piled. Nancy Hodge is in the house. She says, love you all. Enjoy your content all the time. Oh, you are like family. You. Keep up the good things you you do. God bless. Ooh, our lights are flickering, love. Yes, they are. Neil says, everyone needs BRF stuff. Absolutely. Okay, I lied to you Carolyn guys. Land says, what are you making? I joined late. What are you making? Oh, this is done. Look at that. It's mm -hmm. kind of sticky on top, though, right here in the middle. Probably about five minutes, you think? Yeah. So I lied to you guys. I said, just cook it as long as the um, biscuit dough says to cook it. But no, you want to, it's because you have the apples in there. Troy so they're going to. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> it's his age. <laughs> it's his age. Right? <laughs> so um, 
the apples are going to make it a little bit soggier. I'm not even showing you guys what I'm doing over here. I'm like, Carmen oh, says, what I love about your channel is family. You are awesome. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, so here. Here's what I'm going to do. See how this next, right next to the... <laughs> Troy says, yeah, it doesn't work like the cartoons. Slip, boom. I know. It's <laughs> No great. in between. You don't go... Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> okay, so see right next to the apples how it's still gooey which you will kind of want it gooey but you don't want it raw there in the center so we're going to put that in there for just just a little bit longer and i know we have gone over our hour but i want you guys to see the end the end result and i should i should make something to drizzle on top of christy beth says i fell that. while it was snowing luckily the snow was soft oh uh, Back to goods, the same same happened to Hubby a few years ago, and his feet slipped out from under him going down the front porch steps oh. and got a huge hematoma oh. on his lower back. Oh, no. It's still there a few years later. Oh, my mm. gosh. I am so, so sorry that happened to him. Um, well, you know, Rusty's dad fell getting out of bed and broke his back. Yeah, he just tipped over. He tried to catch himself on the bed and broke his back in two spots. Yeah, and had and to have... And have four screws and rods put in his back. I mean, crazy. Uh, Karen says, truly awesome poker. Sheila says, can you donate some of the eggs? Yes, and I can also feed them to my pigs. <laughs> yes. Carmen says, we're, so. or Trish says, Carmen, we are all family here. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably boil some and put them in the refrigerator. Those aren't to keep long term, but they are good, like, uh, high-protein snacks to just kind of have. And then, and then Rusty can put them in his lunch too, or I can put them in Rusty's yes. lunch and then he can take them with him. And then, um, there's also like, I'll probably make a couple of, uh, different kinds of egg casseroles. Uh, we, we did that on a live here mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, um, I'll probably do that and freeze those and that way they're ready. And then I can make some sausage egg biscuits and just freeze those individually. And then we have those to just throw in the microwave. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, well, we don't have a microwave right now, but we can warm them up. Yes. Yeah. So Mrs. Job says 18 scrambled eggs fit in a wide mouth quart jar. Yes. Keep ours in the fridge and pour out as needed. That is so awesome. I Neil love says, that make idea. deviled eggs and potato salad. That's right. Lots of potatoes. And scrambled eggs. <laughs> well, listen, I have a ton of potatoes in there that I need to go through also because my awesome friend, Megan, that she's usually in here, she, um, she gave, uh, called me and said, Hey, I've got, uh, my local grocery store. We're kind of, she's always kind of keeping an eye out and stuff had, um, 10 pounds of potatoes for $1.99. So she picked me up three bags of potatoes. And so I was so excited. So now I got to get those kind of laid out and get them, you know, to where they're not going to uh, die quickly, I guess. <laughs> and Carolyn Lance, that looks good. What is it? Oh. Oh, the cake. So that is a uh, <laughs> coffee cake for the non-baker. So we're baking the cake, but this is something that you don't have to go, you know, this much flour and this much sugar and this much. You just m make it. It's really good. Uh-oh, that's work. Nope. Work, 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 Potential work. Potential spam. Uh, Carolyn Lentz says, okay. Trish says, time flies when you're having fun. Right. Back to goods is egg salad for when, the, or when too many eggs. Laugh out loud. Yes. Carmen Torres yes. says, I wish you would stay forever. You're good for the blood pressure. Laugh out loud. Aww. Really? Uh, so Tamara sweet. says, wow, Rachel. Sheila says, I feed eggs to my dog daily. He gets an egg for breakfast. We would do that, but Mayday is allergic to eggs. Yes, Mayday. Well, the other two, well, I don't know about the little puppy because she's Mayday's puppy, but um, he loses all of the hair on his back. It's crazy. Troy says, crazy how that works. My papa fell off the ladder cleaning his gutters when he was 92 and just got a couple bruises in the shape of the ladder rungs. Isn't that crazy? Yes. I mean, 92 years old and he falls off a ladder. Oh, I got a little bruised up. It's, it's crazy this, you know, the, the human body. Some people can take that and some can't. Yeah, that's, it's just, oh, Neil man. says, now I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm hungry.
Back to Goods is my dog gets eggs for breakfast, too. He is waiting on me to cook mine now. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, now. Frog says hi from Mom and I. Hi. And Frog hi, is in the house. Sheila Tubbs says, I pickle eggs and then use them for salads or tuna chicken salad. Who said that? Sheila Tubbs. No, who said? Frog. Is that my sister, Frog? I don't know. It just says Frog. Is that you, Sandy? <laughs> I was like, hi, Mom. And then I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. Because that's my sister's nickname when we were kids. So Troy says, you know what the Frog says? Ribbit. <laughs> Uh, Karen says, what about water glassing eggs? Oh, yes. So I do want to. Oh, <laughs> I do want to try that. Look, look, look. I, I'm making a little caramel drizzle here, but my cake is done. So I'm going to take this. Oh, I'm not even showing you guys. I'm going to take this off of the fire because caramel, it's great. And then the second you turn your eye, your head, it's, you know, it's not good. You know what the frog says? What? Time's fun when you're having flies. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> what does the Trish frog says, well say? said, Troy. <laughs> All Neil right. Says, Troy, Beth said the same thing. <laughs> frog says, yes, it's your sister. It's, oh, it's my sister. So that's my sister from... Um, from Tejas. From Tejas. And th that's Mama when she said, Mom and I say hi. So everybody, Mama is in the chat with Mama's my sister. And, si and if sissies are... Sandy sissy. is in the house. I call her sissy. Sandy's in the house. Look. Okay, so look at this. See, the tops are brown. Look, there's no gooey. It's not like... It's gooey, but in the good way. Not like, ooh, that looks raw. Right? Right? Troy says, ease your sister. Ease my sister. <laughs> E-E-S-U-R-S-E-E-S-T-E-R. <laughs> Easy or easy. Chris says, Hola, frog and mama. Yes. <laughs> frog and mama. Uh, I'm going to need a little more sugar in that because I had too much butter. So I'm making just like a little, car like not caramel, but caramelized brown She Sheila says, Frog, tell mom, tell mom hello. Hello, sissy and mama Sita from Mr. and Mrs. Walter Job Jr. Everybody misses mama. Road trips, life, and redox is in the house. It looks amazing. It looks amazing. Thank you so much. Sandy says, we both say hola. <laughs> Tamara says, hello, Sandy and Mama. Christy says, hi, Mama and Sissy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sandy, you're, you're no longer Sandy. You're Sissy. Oh, yeah. You know, she, that's my Sissy. <laughs> uh, yeah, we all grew up with nicknames. So. <laughs> Troy says, in quotes, say hey to Mama and them. Say hey to Mama and them. <laughs> Uh, Beth Cornette is in the hose. In the hose. She says, on the French toast casserole, I didn't just put the butter brown sugar on the bottom. I stirred the bread around in it, then poured eggs on top. Oh, I bet that was so good, Beth. Neil says, everyone loves mama. That's right. <laughs> That's right. She is a household name, you guys. Yes, she is. She is an accidental internet sensation. Yes. A yes. YouTube rock star. That's what she is. That's right. Uh, okay, so here we Zissy go. Sissy says, Mama says, Hi, hey, everybody. <laughs> I want to get rid of that granule. Cook down this. I'm not even telling you guys what I'm doing. Can I eat that now? No, because, sorry, guys. I just if, want if it you, now. If you have motion sickness, I just like... Toby just says, worldwide. Mama, we love you. All right. <laughs> so I've got butter, like two tablespoons of butter, about four, oh, yeah, I'm getting too hot, four tablespoons of um, brown sugar. But Troy says, we just tried French toast from King's Hawaiian Rolls. Oh, that sounds amazing. Yes. Okay, so... Basically, you're just trying to get rid of that granule. Um, you don't want it to be crunchy, right? You want it to be smooth and silky, but you don't want to burn your sugar either. Well, Sandy says, Mama says, love y'all too. Oh, I love my mama. Karen my says, sister. at Frog, we miss you, Mama. <laughs> We're getting there. But if you see what I'm doing, like these burners, 
They're awesome. They're big. They're powerful. I have one little bitty burner, but it's back here in the back and that's just not, it's just not feasible. So what I do is I'll put it on the burner and then I take it off. I do have a double broiler in storage, but um, <laughs> right now, in storage. yeah, in storage, you know. We have 92 people in the Nice. In the house. Awesome. Look at this. Look how pretty this is. Look at this. So this is two tablespoons of butter, four table, heaping tablespoons mm. of um, brown sugar. And I'm just heating this until it ends up being... Okay. Do not try this at home. I am terrible. Got it very hot. But I want it's called tortilla fingers. I'm just checking to see about the um, the crunch, like right. I don't want that to be granulated and crunchy. I want it to be silky smooth. Uh, Hobita says, "Frog, thank you for giving us info on Mama. I think the world of her." All right, guys, I'm fixing to move y'all again. Troy so says, "Don't burn your sugar." Rachel, good advice. Don't burn your sugar. Don't do it. Armita says, that looks so yummy. Gotta go, but we'll watch on my TV. All right. Thank you for being here, Armita. Okay, look here. Look here, look here. Hey, what can I say? We are just going to drizzle that right on top. You guys, Rusty can't have any of this because he's diabetic, so I'm going to have to take it. I'm going to I'm have to take it to the neighbors or something. <laughs> yeah, you can... Try to go take it to the neighbors, but uh, I might steal it. I'm just playing. He can have a piece of this. It's going to be okay. Look, I made a whole... Oh, I've got a whole nother cake in the oven. Yeah. So. Beth says, I'm about to do French toast with French bread, Ooh. but I'm putting butter pecan creamer in the eggs. Butter pecan creamer? That's interesting. That sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Sandy says, you're welcome. Hobita, you're welcome. She loves her YouTube family. Okay. So look. If you don't want to, if you don't want to get the flour out. And... Trish and I are going to be rolling around the yard. Why? She said, I'll take rusty shit. <laughs> you don't want to set the flour and add the stuff and a quarter cup of here and, uh, you know, that whole thing. You don't want to do that. Look, Megan just said that could totally be your kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this is the coffee cake for the non-baker. So... Now, Carmen Torres says, I got to leave. You don't know how bad I want to see you guys, but I will always be here watching you guys. Love Thank that. you so much for being here. That's that's just so awesome. We love you guys, each and every one of you. <laughs> Tamara says, and to think, I had a biscuit with butter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> so sorry. Hobie just says, Speedy Gonzalez likes your sister. <laughs> he likes everybody's sister. <laughs> Everybody sees her. Troy says, rolling around in the yard. Haven't heard that one for in a bit. <laughs> telling you, you start taking the big guy's food. Mm. All right. So, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Loop -de -loop. Okay. So, the cool thing is it's already pretty much sliced for you, right? You just come in here. And you take yourself a little section. Oh. Tamara says, looks amazing. Now that's a photo slash thumbnail. Right. Ooh, ooh. Okay. So look at the insides of this. It is completely cooked mm, mm, mm. all the way around. Okay. And that is super hot, you guys. Oop, and that caramel that drizzle. Fall apart. It's just going to be beautiful. Oh, I left one of your apples. You cheat me an apple. Um, and then, I got you a fork. I got you, babe. Oh, you, you're not going to share this one with me, huh? Well, I know we're going to wind up having my own. I know, but I just, I, I was yeah. just serving one to try. Okay. Let me, uh... I'm going to go ahead and add Cool Whip to it, just because I like mine with Cool Whip. You can add ice cream to this. I got to remember that I have another one in here, so I got to keep an eye on it. All right. So, got to dose real quick. Did you dose? I dosed. You're supposed to dose 15 minutes before uh, you tried this. Uh, Christy says, oh my, yum, yum. 
Okay. Jean says, yeah, me. Trish says, your cooking always looks better than what I have. My daughter-in-law does the grocery shopping, and she has no imagination. Same thing over and over and Aww, over. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sandy okay. says, yum. <laughs> yes, please. So, here we go. Rowita says, woohoo, 100 people in here. Smash that thumbs Yay! up, y'all. Oh, my gosh. That's so that's awesome. awesome, you guys. Okay, here we go. You go ahead. Okay. I didn't call you. Go ahead. You want I mean, go ahead. You want it all. Like, want you want a piece of, of the, yeah. Piece of apple. Piece, piece of, of that. Piece of biscuit. Piece of biscuit. Oh, you need, look, look, there's a, a pecan. There's a pecan. Yeah. You want it all. Uh, let's see, I want, a, I want a pecan. Whoop, 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 and an apple. Mm -hmm. Salud. Salud. There we go, you guys. Mm -hmm. mm. Amazing. Mm. Mm -hmm. That caramel was perfect too. Trish said, that's so. mine, Rusty. And my <laughs> mouth is closer, Trish. <laughs> so, takeaways. The apples are a little bit crispier than, say, in an apple pie. Yes. But I do like it. Yes, I like I like that little bit of Christmas to it. Uh, the Christmas. flavor. Crisp. <laughs> Ness. <laughs> it is like Christmas. <laughs> mm, Christmas in my mouth. Uh, Karen Wiley Burns is in the house. Says, Hello from Australia. Hey, welcome. Carolyn says, madness. Oh my goodness, that looks so delicious. So, I've made this before, but, um, and I do like it. And it is a good, uh, like, like I said, Mom, there's a cake, there's a bake sale, and I need it, you know, in the mm -hmm. next, I don't know. I guess it took a little bit longer than, it probably took about 30 minutes if I would have stopped taking it out of the oven. To show right. Sheila says, not fair, I didn't get a bite. Yeah. <laughs> <Not a bite. laughs> so, ooh, Ooh. Man. People are getting mad making stuff fall off of the shelves mm. telekinetically here. I'm telling you. All right. Tamara says, yum. All right. Mrs. Job says, everyone have a great day. Yes. Chrissy says, I'm sighing over here. Aw. <laughs> okay. I hope you guys like our videos. Yes. I'm so glad you guys are here. Like it, every week. It's a highlight. I mean, we talk to you guys all the time on Monday Night Lives on Robertson's Belly Acres that we look forward to it. We look forward to this one as much. Yes. I mean, yes, because this is like you guys are here in my kitchen hanging out with us and this is where we all always congregate when we have family uh oh you didn't let your bullets kick in <laughs> no I, i'm low on insulin uh oh no you can't have this trish <laughs> trish <laughs> oh I'm, I'm just loaded it right now i'll refill a little bit so saturday morning lives are awesome we love that you guys come and hang out in our kitchen and you know what the best part is our kitchen isn't even done. No, it's, it's not even done. like and, the drywall. And it, nobody cares. It's I just know. like you guys are here. It's you're... like your family and you hang out with us yeah. and we love that. And so anyway, you Karen, guys. Karen says, I swear my mouth is literally watering. <laughs> <laughs> it's super easy. A can of biscuits and, and a couple of uh, uh, apples. MT yeah. Homestead is in the house. Hi, she says, we, we look forward to cooking you cooking every week oh thank you so much yes it's so awesome we love that uh you guys come and hang out please try this and if you try it let us know how it come out let yeah. us know if you liked it what you didn't like about it like beth come in and said or neil, neil. says beth made it but she did it this way or and beth said i did it this way i love and she's that. trying something different today and sharing those ideas that's yes. what this channel is all about yes. that's what today, saturdays are all about is yes. sharing Sharing your experiences and different ideas. Yes, um, do that. Do Olga that. Olga Lopez is in the house. Hi, Olga. She said, that looks delicious. I'm going to have to make it one day. Yes, please do. And let us know how it comes out. Trish says, hand it over. Good luck. <laughs> Troy says, love you guys. We love you too, love Troy. You, Troy. All right, guys. Next week. Next week. We got to uh, eat some of this cake. <laughs> we got to eat. <laughs> Bye, guys.